This is Twit. Sam Abul Al Samid is here. He's come for a visit with the Honda Clarity FCV fuel cell vehicle. It's electric <laughs> and it doesn't have a plug. It's but hydrogen that seems dangerous. It's completely harmless. It's the most <laughs> abundant element in the universe. It is a really good looking car. So how does the mileage work on that? How far can so you get? So this one's got a range of about 320 miles on a full full tank of hydrogen. And so where do I get this hydrogen? Can I make it in my uh, bathtub and yeah, pour just, it in? Yeah, just a couple of electrodes in your tub and, <laughs> okay. it'll, and, and electrolysis will generate hydrogen. Just don't light anything and don't have any open flames around that. No, uh, there's about three dozen hydrogen stations uh, in the state of California right now. Uh, closest one from to here from Petaluma is about 30 miles south of here in Mill Valley, but there's a whole string of them around the Bay Area and more along the coast and then uh, down in the Los Angeles area. Um, so if you live between San Francisco and LA, you can, you can probably uh, get along okay with a hydrogen vehicle. Anywhere farther than that, for now at least, it's going to be tougher until we get more hydrogen stations installed. And there are more being put in all the time. And is this car available now? It is available now. Uh, it's been available for about nine months, I think, now. Um, and uh, it's available to lease for about $399 a month from Honda. It is very hot out here. Yes. Does it have air conditioning? It does have air okay, conditioning, let's go and inside. it works. Let's all right, let's get in the car. <laughs> All right. So it has Android Auto here. Does it also have CarPlay? It does have support for CarPlay uh, for those people that insist on using an iPhone, <laughs> like yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and those it, it works, people. It, it works, works with both of them. Um, it's got uh, touchscreen display. It also has uh, a navigation system of its own built in as well, which you can get to from here. So you've got the standard Honda navigation system and also the, uh, the smartphone based systems. So um, it's very nice. Is this like sort of the high end or just the standard? There's only one trim level available oh. for the Clarity, uh, at least for the fuel cell version right now. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty high end trim version. So you've got some Alcantara, uh, you know, much like the... Uh, <laughs> like the Surface uh, Go. Yeah, the Surface the Go surface. and some of the other Surface products. Uh, some real wood trim, nice leather seating. Um, and you know, I, I'm, I've always been quite fond of the seats in Honda cars. So there are, I've found them to be quite comfortable and supportive. So tell me about the Clarity line. This isn't the first Clarity, right? Right. So right now, the current generation Clarity uh, was designed by Honda to be a completely um, electrified platform. So there's three different variations of it. There's this one here, which has a fuel cell. You know, it's an electric car, but it doesn't have a plug. Uh, so what hap what it does is it uses a fuel cell to con combine hydrogen and oxygen to produce water and electricity. So it produces electricity on the fly. It does have a small battery, so it's a hybrid, so it does regenerative braking as well to improve the overall efficiency. But it's, it's, it's an electric car. There's no, there's no gas engine, it, there's no combustion going on at all. And then there's also a plug-in hybrid version that has about 45 miles of electric range, and then it runs as a regular hybrid. And then there's also a battery electric version that has about 85 miles of electric driving range. So does the fuel cell cost more than a battery hybrid or less? Today, um, it still costs more because uh, production volumes are still pretty low, uh, but they're ramping those up. Um, Honda actually has a joint venture with uh, General Motors um, to develop a, their next generation fuel cell stack and they're actually going to be producing them in Michigan at a plant in Michigan, the same plant where GM assembles the battery packs uh, for the Chevrolet Volt is also going to be uh, producing fuel cells for use by both GM and Honda. So the cost is coming down it's, and they've, they've figured out ways to design the, the fuel cells so they're less expensive, they use less of the uh, catalyst that makes them so expensive. So you stopped in Marin on the way here, which is about approximately halfway from San Francisco. How much did it cost? It looks like you haven't filled totally up. You're, you're halfway, is that yeah, accurate? Yeah, uh, well, it's full. It's just, it's almost full right now. Hydrogen is, I think, currently about $8 a kilogram, which is how they sell it. It's, because it's a gas, it's a compressed gas, they sell it by weight instead of by volume. Um, and a kilogram of hydrogen has about the same energy uh, as a gallon of gasoline, but a fuel cell is about two and a half to three times more efficient. So this car gets about 60 to 65 miles per kilogram, uh, which is uh, quite a bit um, quite a bit more efficient than say a Honda Civic. And so how does the fueling process work? It's actually really straightforward. 
Uh, you drive up to the hydrogen pump. It looks very much like a gas pump. Um, there's uh, a nozzle uh, at the the uh, where the fuel filter would normally be on most cars on the rear fender. You open it up. There's a metal fitting on there. You put you put the nozzle on and you pull the grip just like you would with a regular gas pump, and that locks the nozzle onto the the fitting on the car. And then you just stand there and wait for it. You know, you let go and, and just wait five minutes or so, and and then it's all done. So the other uh, FCV is the Mirai. Mm -hmm. um, have you driven that? I have driven that. Um, I actually like this one better. This one I think is, is better looking. It's it's it drives better than the Mirai does. The Mirai, you know, the Mirai's been on the market for a couple of years. Um, it's not quite as much fun to drive as this one. Uh, this one's got a little better performance. Um, it's a little it's roomier, um, and um, it's just more enjoyable to drive, I think. This is pure F uh, fuel cell. There's not no plug-in. So if you run right. out of um, hydrogen, I guess you can still say gas, can't you? Say, yes, because it, it is a gas. It's a compressed <laughs> gas. Uh, what, would, what do you do? You just, I guess you don't run out of gas. That's you, you, <laughs> you try to make sure that you stay within range of, of a hydrogen filling station. There are trucks that have been used for uh, refilling vehicles, um, you know, fuel cell test vehicles that have been uh, when they've been out doing development work, um, they've they've got trucks, uh, tank hydrogen tankers that will come out and refill you, but they're not readily available. And what about the safety features? Are there are they pretty similar to standard uh, Hondas, or are there any kind of special safety features in this? Yeah, it's got the full uh, Honda Sensing uh, driver assist package that you would get in an Accord or a Civic or most other current Honda models. It comes as standard. So you've got adaptive cruise control, radar-based adaptive cruise control. Uh, there's a lane keeping system. Um, so, you know, when you uh, when you're going over 40 miles an hour, when it detects the lanes, it will actually, you know, as you, if you start to drift out of the lane, it will actually uh, try to nudge you, nudge the car back into the lane, keep you in the lane. So it's not not as sophisticated as say something like um, Tesla Autopilot, but um, it's it's one of the better systems I've driven out of all the different systems that are on the market. So is this kind of car better for someone who drives mostly on highways or around town or both? It's fine for both. Uh, you know, it's got good performance, has, has plenty of plenty of acceleration, and uh, so you can use it for pretty much any any type of driving that you do. And so the tank, uh, there's a tank in the trunk and a tank in the back seat. Underneath the back seat, yeah. So there's two cylindrical gas storage tanks. They hold compressed hydrogen at 10,000 psi. Um, a larger one is in between the back seat and into the trunk, and then a smaller one is underneath the rear seat. So what about the danger? Like, is that just purely, like, there's just the idea we think hydrogen bomb, but that's not accurate. There's, not, there, there's, <laughs> there's no more danger than any other type of vehicle, whether it's a battery vehicle or a gasoline-powered vehicle. Um, said they, the hydrogen storage tanks um, have a, a thick aluminum wall, and then they're wrapped in carbon fiber and Kevlar, so they're really strong. They've been tested uh, against penetration. They're actually stronger than a gasoline tank um, or even the batteries in battery electric vehicles like, like Leo's Tesla. Safety shouldn't be any more of a problem than it is in any other type of car. All right. I guess uh, we have to go back outside in the heat now. Yeah. Take a look. I want to see what wanna, it looks like. Do you want to drive it? Um, sure. Okay. Well, let's, let's take a look under the hood first, okay. and then you can <laughs> hop in and drive it. So it looks, doesn't look a whole lot different from a conventional um, car, you know, because the fuel cell stack is just basically a big rectangle. So this is, this is the fuel cell stack here. The hydrogen comes in, gets combined with air, um, and it goes through a, a, a chemical reaction that uh, produces water and electricity. So the only exhaust, the only emissions from this car is water vapor. So it's, uh, you know, drudging by the, how brown the landscape was as I was driving up here, you could probably use a little more of that around yeah. here. <laughs> um, and that's it, it's just water. There's no, wow. no, no other emissions from this car. All right, you sure you trust me to drive it? I think so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.